Welcome to Milliseconds video tutorial on how to download a script from the Millisecond Task Library and run it with Inquisit 6 Lab. Hey, Katya here from Millisecond Software. In this video tutorial, I will walk you through the steps on how to download a script from the Millisecond Task Library and run it with Inquisit 6 Lab. If you don't have Inquisit 6 Lab installed on your computer yet, check out the video tutorial on how to download and register Inquisit 6 Lab or use its trial version. Note that you need access to the internet for downloading Inquisit library scripts. Let's get started. First, open Inquisit Lab on your computer. As you can see, I have a shortcut on it on this Windows machine. On the start page of the Inquisit editor, Millisecond provides a convenient built-in link to the Millisecond library homepage. You can either use this shortcut or visit the library from the Millisecond homepage. In the Millisecond task library, you can find hundreds of free Inquisit tasks to use or customize. Favorites include the attention and network tasks, Iowa Gambling Task, Implicit Association Tasks, Wisconsin Card Sort Tasks, and many, many others. I will go ahead and download the H Implicit Association Task. You could try out the online demo by clicking the Run Demo button. However, since I would like to download the actual script code, I go over here to the download test button. You can store the downloaded IQZIP file in the folder of your choice. To unzip and open the file, simply double click on the IQZIP file. And the script automatically opens in the Inquisit editor. Note that you don't always get an IQZIP file. If the script you're interested in does not require any helper files, such as image or sound files, the script will be a simple unzipped IQX file. At the top of each Inquisit library script, you can find the user manual for the task. The user manual contains information about the task, as well as provides the necessary information to interpret the collected data files. Below the user manual, you can find the actual script code. Since you always have full access to the entire source code of each Inquisit library script, you have complete control over the script's code. We try to predict some of the customization features that researchers might like, such as changing stimulus presentation times, sizes of stimuli or feedback settings. These easy to change settings are listed under the section editable parameters in our library scripts. For example, to remove feedback in the HIT script, simply change the setting for the parameters, show summary feedback from true to false. Feedback should now be skipped.
you can run the script out of the editor by clicking on the run button. For demonstration purposes, I will now ask the Inquisitive Monkey to run through the test instead. The Inquisitive Monkey is a convenient tool to collect automatic responses, which can be an immense help in debugging Inquisit scripts. In Inquisit Lab, manually enter subject IDs, group number, and session number. Group numbers are generally used for counterbalancing purposes, so check the user manual of your script if it uses them. IET scripts generally do. So it usually uses either group number one or group number two. We would just leave it as one. The monkey has completed the task and has generated two data files. A raw data file that contains many lines of trial data and a summary data file with only one summarizing data line. As mentioned before, you can find the explanations for these data columns in the user manual at the top of the script file. The data files themselves are located in a convenient data fo folder inside your project folder. Here's the unzipped HIT folder. Here's the script and all the supporting files, such as images. And here is the data folder. It contains one raw data file with many lines of data for each trial and one summary data file with one line for each participant. Of course, you don't have to use a script from the millisecond library at all for your own research. With the Inquisit Editor, you have a powerful tool to design your very own projects. How to get started on your very own project will be covered in our next video tutorial. Thank you for following along. Goodbye.